In our day, certain economic truths have become accepted as self-evident. Aren't you ever, did you ever have a moment of doubt about capitalism and whether greed's a good idea to run on? Well, first of all, tell me, is there some society you know that doesn't run on greed? You think Russia doesn't run on greed? You think China doesn't run on greed? What is greed? <sighs> Bury the attitude a little bit and show them... Wait. You're telling me to dance. No. I'm saying to get back to the guy who first started playing this game. Remember? Way back when, when you were a kid, it wasn't just about the money, was it? Was it? Was it? Too many of us now tend to worship self-indulgence and consumption. Our topic today, what is capitalism? Capitalism? Well, why should there be any question about it? Hasn't it given us the highest standard of living in the world? We're free to try to make a profit, to just get by or to fail. Well, that's what capitalism is, a system of free enterprise. Well, now tell us what free enterprise means. Show me the money. Show you the money. Oh, no, no, you can do better than that, Jerry. I want you to say it with you with me, then, brother. Hey, I got Bob Sugar on the other line. I better hear you say it. Yeah, yeah, no, no, no. Show you the money. Not show you. Show me the money. Show me the money. Yes. Louder. Show me the money. That's it, brother, but you got to yell that shit. Show me the money. I need to feel you, Jerry. Show me the money. Jerry, you better yell. Show me the money. Free enterprise. Competition. The profit motive. Show me the money. It shows that American capitalism is morally right because its chief elements, private ownership, the profit motive, and the competitive market are wholesome and good. They are compatible with God's laws and the teachings of the Bible. Capitalism is the best system ever devised. Capitalism is the best system ever devised. Capitalism is the best system ever devised. You know, one of the things that we have done here, we've become very religious in worshiping greed. And we put on the front pages of the magazines guys who have made billions of dollars. We ignore the cops, the firemen, the teachers, the nurses, who every day are doing so much in improving the lives of people. We've got to change our value system. And after this war is won, we must be prepared to move forward in the implementation of these rights to new goals of human happiness and well-being. For unless there is security here at home, there cannot be lasting peace in the world.